this is a video I really didn't want to make but I feel compelled to um, in a couple of the videos I said about I was going to make a review about this camera the Canon 4000D um, and what's turned out to be such a problematic and very silly decision to make this camera by Canon um, I get a lot of flack on this on, on social media and stuff like that among Canon fan and bo fan boys because they just you know what they like um, and they say well if you only paid I only paid 200 quid for this they're saying if you paid 200 quid what else do you expect um, what the problem is is two two main problems and one I've mentioned in a video and I've mentioned a workaround for it it's not a great workaround I have to admit and this is here this is the port which you can see is um, HDMI port and a mini USB port in the future I'm not sure if there'll be mini USB ports that will do intervalopters there possibly will be I'm not sure whether Canon's app on the mobile phone will have a time-lapse feature I'm not sure about that either but what I am sure at this present moment in time this is a heap of junk and it's not just this camera um, it's the Canon 2000D Canon SL3 I think that's just come out that has the same problem um, not too much with this part but this one here which is the center pin is missing on this camera and as I say it's not just this camera so you could be paying around six seven hundred quid and when you, you if you're like me I mean I've had loads of cameras and I've been around cameras for years and years I've never seen anything like this before and all I wanted for this it wasn't going to be a first camera as in main camera it was just a backup thing so I have quite a few lenses for the Canon um, because I've had Canon cameras before and they've, uh, they've been fine the Canon, the Canon cameras I've had before are actually better than this and, uh, and they've you know the, the years and years old and, and still entry level DSLRs this is not entry level DSLR this is toy level DSLR and Canon I don't know what they must have done when they were on a design board and they said I'll tell you what will cripple the whole features the whole point if you if you get a DSLR is to open your photography and if you, you can't I mean the pictures and you know you can have interchangeable lenses you can see raw format I mean there's, there's lots of you know there's lots of cheap compact cameras will do raw format you know um, anyway so I'll show you this and this is a camera I actually got given which is the Sony um, A100 I've mentioned this plenty of times on the channel before because it's I mean it's, sometimes I think it's dead yes it's you know in the modern era you, you just for, for me I do a lot of night shoot and things like that so uh, this is not really very good for astrophotography has no video function which is neither here nor there for me as long as I've got something to do video on um, but this is what a, a normal shoe cut shoe looks like I mean you can you can get um, what, what the proviso is is that you get flash cameras uh, flash guns from Canon kind of themselves so that's a bit like sort of you, you you know you buy a brand new car you go at home and in the manual it says look um, you know you can uh, the only petrol you're allowed to buy is at Tesco stores so you have to buy you, you, you might not be anywhere near it but that's the only petrol you can buy you can't buy it anywhere else but you, you can buy it at Tesco it's, it's just stupid it's absolutely stupid this is your normal hot shoe port and Sony uh, was a like a Minolta mount here the shoe mount thing and they used to have adapters which is that they don't have that now they have the normal everyday one that you see for third party I've never seen a camera like this before and, and any no, not just DSLR I've never seen it before so there's your center point on there okay so that's just I'll just do this and show you what happens it's not going to be any pictures taken so you just do it in manual and some people are like uh, you know have said to us but well, why didn't you do the research there wasn't that much you know I didn't do as much research as I should have in hindsight but hindsight's 2020 um, 
what you should, you know, I mean, it's DSLR. <laughs> That's what, it, what you, you pay for. What's the point of having a hot shoe on there? In fact, it's not a hot shoe. It's a cold shoe until you use a Canon product. Again, they might find adapters for that, but really that's that's just not on. So that's two things. They might find adapters in the, in the future. But anyway, so this here, there. You see flash? There. So that's just... Uh, this, this camera here, uh, as I say, it was given to me. But it, it was the first thing that Sony ever did. You know? It's only 10 megabytes. It's... Um, as I say, it often doesn't work. It doesn't work. I've, I've hammered this camera. It's been absolutely great. I would do exactly the same thing with this. And... No flash at all. And some people come say, well, there must be a way to do your triggers and that, you know, and you, you can just put a trigger on there. No, you can't put a trigger on there. This is silly. If it doesn't work like that, it doesn't work. It needs a centre pin. So guys, if you're thinking about a new camera and you're like sort of, you know, you're trying to step up a little bit, don't buy a Canon. Buy Nikon um, or any other, just don't buy a Canon, okay? Thanks for watching.